For you BTRFS users out there, big news as an update has been made for Linux kernel 6.3 for up to 10 times faster speeds when using BTRFS. And before everyone gets crazy excited and starts to try to switch over to BTRFS, for those of you unaware, BTRFS is a computer storage format that combines a file system based on copy on write or cal principle with a logical value manager and LVM that's developed together. It was initially designed from Oracle in 2007, and since 2013, it has been declared stable in the Linux kernel. It was made because of the lack of polling, snapshots, and checksums, and integral multi-device spanning in Linux file systems. So that's what Wiki has to say about it, but from the Oracle website, we see some of the most important features here is copy on write functionality. That allows you to create both readable and writable snapshots. You also have checksum functionality, which ensures data integrity, transparent compression that saves disk space, transparent defragmentation, which improves in performance, and then integrated logical value management, which also allows you to implement RAID support. These are some of the best features that you get with, with BTRFS. So if you're interested after the video, make sure to spend some time exploring it because since uh, the BTree file system is designed to provide advanced features, like we talked about snapshots, transparent compression, built-in RAID support, and an effective file system management scheme, it uses the copy on write mechanism, COW, which ensures data integrity when writing data to new blocks and prevents data corruption and simplifies data recovery. So now you might see why BTRFS might be a great choice for running on servers, since it supports the ability to create snapshots, which are great for disaster recovery. And as you can tell here on the Arch Wiki, making a snapshot is as easy as doing a command like this, which says create a snapshot from some source or disk and put it in some destination file name. And now moving on to the patch itself for the Linux kernel 6.3. That is the intended release of these updates. We can talk about some of the performance improvements, including other things here, and why BTRFS is still not the greatest choice when it comes to performance in gaming. But before we get there, check out Delva.ai. Not sure how to start using AI for your business? Don't let your company fall behind. Start building an AI strategy today with Delva's AI consulting. Schedule some time with Delva's AI consultants and start integrating AI into your business. Again, check it out at delva.ai. There's a link in the description below. All right, now talking about the performance improvements here in this new kernel patch for BTRFS. Some of the things mentioned here is reworking how checksums are processed with, with follow-up cleanups and simplifications. There are two minor changes in the block layer of the IO map code. Let's talk about some of the features and performance upgrades to see where the 10 times speed up occurred. In the performance category, we have send the cache directory U times and only omit the command when necessary, which has sped up to 10 times the amount. Smaller final stream produced, no redundant U times command issued. Compatibility is not affected. File map skips the back ref checks for shared leaves, which gives us a speed up of three times on sample file system with all leaves shared, for example, on snapshots. Micro optimized B tree key lookup speed up in metadata operations from a sample benchmark file system mark had an improvement about 10% on the files per second. So you can imagine a 10 times improvement in the send performance is quite amazing. So for all of you BTRFS non-users, don't get too crazy excited yet and start to switch over to the file system because if you're gaming, you're still better off using something like ETX4 for your file system. And that's because BTRFS does not support something called case fold or case folding, which is the process of converting characters in a string to a lower case or uppercase set equivalent. And the reason for this is then the file system can treat file names as case insensitive. So where does this actually take a toll? Well, two things, using Wine and Proton. These two support case folding to access files on a file system. And since BTRFS does not support it, we get performance regression. So that's why a lot of people who game and use Wine or Proton don't necessarily see a performance boost when using BTRFS. Actually, they probably see a regression. So unfortunately, no case folding support in BTRFS. You could set up another partition as an ext4 formatted or some other file system which supports case folding, which is probably about the best solution I can think of at the moment. That way you can run Wine or Proton on those file systems instead and get better performance and support. But at the end of the day, if you are in the server space and you're using a server in a production environment, well, the ability to support those snapshots and create RAID clusters, those are absolutely great for 
those disaster recovery situations where it's completely necessary to have features like that. I definitely suggest checking out BTRFS. And in that scenario, the speed up of around 10 times is going to be absolutely amazing once it comes out in kernel 6.3. Now for server space, it's going to be quite a while before we see this kernel version since we run behind the rolling releases and it takes a while to get to a stable release of the kernel. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below if you're going to BTRFS anytime soon or if you're using it currently. Let me know what your thoughts are on it. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.